Good afternoon, Ms. Lindsay Malasig. I am Michelle De La Serna and I will be your student nurse for today. How would you like me to address you? Lindsay would be good. Okay, so for today, Lindsay, we will be assessing your pulse rates um, in various places. We're going to compare uh, the left and right sides to see if there are any um, alterations in your pulse rates. So we could give you proper medical attention right away. Is it okay? Yes. If we start now. Mm -hmm. So before we start, we want to observe like the different areas of the pulse to see if it is uh, symmetrical bilaterally. So we're going to start with the temporal. the carotid we want to do it um, one at a time okay. the other side. Okay. so we will now assess the popliteal artery so we're just going to check it both the left and the right okay it is normal and symmetrical now we're going to check the posterior tibial we're also gonna assess the dorsalis pedis could you flex your toe okay I mean extend so it's here so both are of the same rhythm and rate so now we're going to start to check the radial pulse of my patient first we're gonna start with one side and then we're gonna compare it with the other later on okay. so we're gonna count it for a whole minute So now we will assess the other side. So we're just going to compare the two sides. Okay, so count it again for a whole minute. So after assessing your um, radial pulse, it came out as both 60 to 100 beats and the rate and rhythm were both normal. So now, uh, Lindsay, we will be assessing your um, brachial pulse. So I'm just going to take um, your arm here and I'm going to place my finger on your antecubital fossa. And again, you want to count this for a whole minute. Now we're going to um, check the other side to compare the left and right side. So again, both um, the left and the right were in the range of 60 to 100 beats per minute, which is perfectly normal. The rate and rhythm were also um, uh, symmetrical and normal. So now I will be assessing the apical pulse of my patient, but since my patient is a minor and her mother did not approve of taking off her shirt, so we're going to keep the shirt on, but we're going to assume that she, is, um, she has removed her uh, shirt. So we're going to start by um, locating the jugular notch and we're going to slide down to the angle of Louis, then slide to the left to find the second intercostal space, then going down to find the fifth one, um, and then it is in the midclavicular line. So now we're at the fifth intercostal space, left uh, midclavicular line. And then we're going to grab our stethoscope. And so, okay, Lindsay, I'm going to place my stethoscope on you, okay? So we're gonna warm it first, and then place it in the um, apical pulse. Okay. 
So we have now um, assumed a supine position and we're going to locate the femoral artery. So we're going to ask the patient to flex the knee to relax the artery. And then we feel for the pulse. So in assessing the apical radial pulse, we need two nurses. Um, so we're going to do this simultaneously. One nurse is going to take the apical and the other will take the radial for a whole minute. After taking the apical and radial pulse for a whole minute, we subtract the apical pulse to the radial pulse. So the apical pulse will always be greater than the radial pulse and the outcome should not be greater than 2 or if it is greater than 2 then there is pulse deficit. So Lindsay, after assessing your uh, pulse rate or your heart rates, all came out at 60 to 100 beats and are in normal or regular rate and rhythm so there is no problem. And thank you very much.